Scrumptious Honey Pumpkin Gary! Did you get off work? Let's make today the day we finally get on the train home together! Kayla! Um, hey. Sorry, but I can't. I've already got an engagement with someone. Oh, you do? But, but... You do want to get on the train home with me, right? Right? Cause, you know, it's our... You know... What? Hmm, you don't happen to be a little bit forgetful, do you, Gary? Or are you a bit slow when it comes to romance? Huh? Or maybe... You'd be embarrassed if everyone saw you leaving the office with me. Chill out and relax a little. It's fine. Hey, that reminds me. How come you never come over and speak to me at work? We have nothing to be ashamed of. I get that you might want to keep things hushed from everyone at work, but you could at least come over and say hi every now and then. My delicious pudding pie. What are you talking about? It's hardly unusual for two co-workers who join the company at the same time to develop romantic feelings for each other and start dating! Dating? Yeah! It's our two-week anniversary as a couple today, you know? Uh... I guess it's not that uncommon for guys to forget about anniversaries, so don't worry about it, sweetie. I'm not mad at all. No, really. What are you talking about? I said it's cool. Don't worry about it. I don't mean it like that. You and I aren't dating! Huh? The heck? I have a wife and kids! A what? How cruel! Are you just using me like some cheap toy to be tossed aside? No, don't be so ridiculous! I never asked you out, I have no romantic feelings for you, and I've never done or said anything to suggest I do! I'd already been married for a year when I joined the company! Oh my god! Besides, we barely even speak! And on the rare occasion we do, it's only ever about work or idle small talk. I don't know how you've managed to convince yourself we're a couple based on that. I'm fully devoted to my wife. We were childhood sweethearts who started dating back in high school. Would you please stop saying these weird things? It's making me super uncomfortable. This can't be. What you're doing here could cause a lot of trouble for me. Please refrain from talking to me about anything other than work from now on, okay? I'd appreciate if you stopped calling me things like scrumptious honey pumpkin and delicious pudding pie, too. You have no idea how creepy it is. My name is Gary. Why are you doing this? Gary, my old flame, my once favorite dreamy sugar dumpling, I need to talk to you. What is it? I've told you countless times to only talk to me about work-related things, and only when we're at the office. Why are you messaging me again? Would you please just cut it out already? Plus, I told you to stop it with the creepy nicknames. Just Gary is fine. G-A-R-Y. I don't think you'll be puffing your chest out like this for long. Wanna know why, teehee? You see, because you're so stubborn and wouldn't be honest about your feelings, I had no choice but to go and find another boyfriend. Cool. By the way, we're really close already. What would you say if I said I thought he might be the one? That's great. I hope you're happy together. What? No, wait. You were supposed to start panicking. Why? Isn't it normal to be worried when another guy takes the girl you like? Aren't you gonna fight to win me back? Nah. What? Why? I never had any romantic feelings for you in the first place. Are we done? <laughs> Great. I'm going home. Bye. Gary, this is bad. Real bad. Sarah, what's wrong? You're on errands out of the office now, right? That's right. I'll be finishing up and heading back soon, though. No, please, you can't. The manager told me to tell you not to come back to the office. Why not? Kayla's really gone and done it. Kayla? What do you mean? She got caught having a steamy romp with Steve the manager from sales and marketing, in the stationary cupboard. What? Isn't Steve married? And this isn't even the worst of it. 
His wife must have found out about what was going on somehow, because she just stormed in the office yelling, Where the hell is that trashy harlot Caleb Briggs? The managing director currently is trying to calm her down with tea and biscuits in the waiting room on the third floor. So what about Steve and Kayla? Steve immediately admitted wrongdoing, got on his hands and knees, and begged his wife for forgiveness in the hallway in front of half the company. The managing director ordered him to wait on the fourth floor meeting room, so that's where he is now. As for Kayla, she's currently barricading herself in the second floor inventory management room. Judging from the sounds coming out of there, she's smashing things up in some kind of frenzied rampage. She even smashed one of our new products that was just about to be sent out for delivery, so I'd be surprised if she still had a job after this. What a spectacular mess! There is one more thing, Steve. She was yelling your name the whole time. What? I'm pretty sure everyone's got a good idea of what the situation is, so I don't think you need to worry. We all noticed a while back how she kept following you around and waiting for you after work to make advances at you. You reported her to the managing director several times too, right? Yeah. So, all things considered, since we couldn't discount the possibility the situation would deteriorate even further if you came back, he decided it would be best you didn't, at least while she's still around. I see. This whole thing must be causing you all kinds of trouble. I'm really sorry, Gary. Sorry, I don't really know how to respond to all of this. But in any case, thanks for passing on the message. I appreciate it. I'll be in touch as soon as there's any kind of development. Got it. I'm really sorry for inconveniencing you guys. Gary, you're horrid! Why didn't you come and save me? Where was my knight in shining armor? Huh? Your girlfriend just got fired! I'm being charged 15000 because I broke some stuff, and they said if I don't pay, they'll take me to court! And if you think that's bad, the marketing and sales manager's wife's demanding 25000 in compensation from me! Why the hell didn't you come and help me? I needed you more than ever! Because none of it's got anything to do with me. A what? Use your brain, Kayla! None of this would have happened in the first place if not for your sordid tryst with Steve from sales in the stationary cupboard. He's a married man. No matter which way you look at it, treating me like I'm your boyfriend like some kind of stalker, getting yourself into a career-threatening situation, then demanding I come and get you out of it is not acceptable behavior! How can you be so blind, Gary? The only reason I did this was to force you to be honest about your feelings! The reason I made love to a married man in the stationary cupboard is because I love you! That's quite possibly the most ludicrous thing I've ever heard! The fact you have a wife and kids is irrelevant. We don't choose the wanderings of our hearts. The world of love is a world of mystery. But you're so stubborn! I had to resort to extreme measures to force you to admit how you felt, and be honest about the fact that you're head over heels in love with me! That's why I had to find a new boyfriend! What the hell?! That's why you had an affair with the married sales manager?! That's right! Things might have not worked out exactly as I planned, and maybe I did lose my job over it, but surely at least now you realize how much you love me! Surely now you realize how important I am to you? Tell me you do, my sweet trickle muffin! Hurry up and admit you're crazy about me! Divorce your wife and let's be together forever! I'm unemployed now, so I'm ready to be your stay-at-home housewife. It's actually perfect timing when you think about it. I'll be the wife of your dreams! Let's build a household full of love and warmth together, my chocolate love bunny. More like the wife of my nightmares! I feel like I'm in a horror movie! You're actually insane! Huh? I can't believe things got this out of hand as a result of your misunderstood delusions! Misunderstand delusions? No, you're wrong! It baffles me how you can say that with such confidence. There genuinely isn't a shred of self-doubt in you, is there? How many times have I told you now that I don't have romantic feelings for you? I've literally lost count! Come on, Gary. I saw the way you looked at me. The very first work drinking party we all went to after me and you joined the company? The moment our eyes met across the table. 
to remember it all like it was yesterday. The fateful moment. What? The fateful precious moment our eyes met. The overwhelming force of your amorous gaze. You pierced my heart with your love sphere. I won't let you say you've forgotten. I won't. I won't. What the hell? Ugh. Listen to me, lady. That drinking party you're talking about, I wasn't even there. My wife and son fell ill with something that day, so I ducked out of work early, which means I ended up having to pull out. You're lying. You either dreamed it, or this is a severe case of mistaken identity. No, you're lying. That can't be true. Why don't you try asking Steve, your new boyfriend? He should still have the chat logs from when I messaged him, saying I couldn't go because I had to take my wife and son to the docks. I won't believe it! I won't! I won't! Never contact me again! Wait! I'm blocking you! Kayla found her new boyfriend in the form of a married man for the most absurd reason imaginable. Apparently her objective was to make me feel jealous. But given I had no feelings for her in the first place, it was a fruitless endeavor. And she did nothing but cause hurt, upset, and inconvenience to many innocent people. On top of that, Steve from sales also got fired when the extent of the damage to the business his lover had caused with her spectacle became apparent. I heard that after he divorced his wife, he continued to be obsessed with Kayla. Eventually, they got married on the condition that he'd cover all of the compensation she owed, and he even convinced his parents to let them both move in with them in the family home. Rumor has it that Steve's parents are known in the neighborhood for being a little... peculiar and idiosyncratic. To quote a co-worker who lives nearby, that girl's gonna have her work cut out living with that family. It's not a fate I'd wish on my worst enemy. A chill runs down my spine every time I think about the unfortunate future that awaits her. If only she didn't go making the mother of all misunderstandings. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.